Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. From championships to winning tournament streaks, how Michigan S27 Varsity Sports fared in 2022-23. With the conclusion of the Baseball College World Series this week, the 2022-23 collegiate track and field season came to an end. A day later, the NACTA released their final rankings for the Learfield Directors Cup, which ranked the best all-around track and field schools of the past. Despite winning 13 Big Ten titles, Michigan finished 11th this year in the Directors' Cup rankings, their worst finish since 2015. Below, we detail how the Wolverines fared across all 27 varsity sports, although only 19 count towards each team's score, men's basketball, women's basketball, baseball, volleyball, and 15 wildcard sports. Let us look at all 27, to see which teams are trending up, and which are trending down and which have had breakthroughs in the past year. Check out how Michigan fared below. Men's Gymnastics runner-up Michigan S best program this season. The Wolverines men's gymnastics team finished second in the NCAA championships, earning their best placing since winning two titles in 2013 and 2014. Yuan Xiao, a sophomore head coach, helped the Wolverines to a record of 19-12 in two meetings albeit in a season that saw steady progress as the season wore on. Michigan overcame a loss at Penn State to secure the regular season Big Ten title, win the Big Ten championship meet, and then jump from third to second place on the final day of the championship meet. However, star Paul Judah won the Nissan Emery Award that day. While he didn't compete that season due to injury, freshman Fred Richard became one of the sport's biggest stars. Michigan's most important sport was also one of the most successful this year. The Wolverines, led by unanimous All-American running back Blake Corum and an offensive line that was voted the best in the country, pulled off a program record 13 wins. Those victories included 22-point victories over rivals Michigan State and Ohio State. This marked the first time since 2003 that Michigan had defeated both teams in the same year, and, 